In your lesson 2, you have learned about the cell structure and function of major and subcellular organelles. In this topic, you will learn on prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells according to their distinguishing features. Most living things you know, such as animals and plants, are multicellular organisms. Some living things are made up of single cell. Single-celled or unicellular organisms includes the bacteria, some protists, and some fungi. Even though composed of single cell, these organisms carry out all the functions necessary for life. In different organisms, cells also vary in sizes, shapes, parts, and functions. But they all have one thing in common. They make up all living things and they are living. There are two kinds of organisms according to their cell structure, the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic organism is said to be the most important distinction among the groups of living things. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms that lock a membrane-bound nucleus, mitochondria, and all other organelles. Its name comes from the Greek word pro, which means before, and karyon, which means not or kernel. Eukaryotes are organisms with cells that contains membrane-bound nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. The nucleus of a eukaryotic cell contains the genetic material, which is the DNA, and it is enclosed by a single nuclear envelope. Other membrane-bound organelles are mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, and chloroplast, which is found on photosynthetic organisms such as algae and plants. There are also unicellular eukaryotes known as protozoa. All other eukaryotes are multicellular organisms such as plants, animals, and fungi. I hope that you learned something in my video lesson for today. See you in my next discussion.